I started DJing a long time ago. I've been at it, this is probably my third decade. Um, I never even really knew what a DJ was. I went to a club when I was 15 or 16 in Melbourne and saw this guy mixing records together and there was no gaps and I thought, wow, that's amazing. I'd really like to do that. I actually wanted to get into uh, music originally, but I didn't really have the patience to learn an instrument. So once I saw you know, records being mixed together like that, I thought, you know, I'll give that a go. Well, Melbourne's kind of buzzing at the moment. Um, we could, I don't know if you've heard this thing called the Melbourne Sound, which is a very kind of dark, minimal, electro kind of sound. These lights are blinding, getting higher, higher I'm climbing, and I lost my mind, I can't find it. Like, where'd you go? I said lights are blinding, getting higher, I'm still climbing, and I lost my mind, and if somebody finds it, just let me know. Uh, there's a couple of artists, Will Sparks, Joel Fletcher, who are really making waves uh, all over the world at the moment, and a lot of big name DJs are taking on that sound. Layback Luke's a big backer of that sound. Uh, but to be honest, like we, the festivals have kind of taken over uh, the dance music scene. Um, the clubs, like the DJ sets are kind of going back to like 45 minutes and one hour because there's so many DJs and so few clubs at the moment. So I don't know if that's healthy or not. It's uh, like when I started, it was like four or five hour sets, and I kind of learned how to uh, learn how to DJ basically doing those long sets, playing varied crowds, playing different styles of music. When I started, it was, it was all vinyl. Um, I still have a sore back from carting around four crates of vinyl to all my gigs three, four times a night. Uh, and it was, it was very interesting to see the transition from uh, vinyl to CDs. That was a big jump because you could just turn up with a little wallet under your arm and, and be burning things you know, in the afternoon to play at the gigs that night. And then, um, you know, the move to Serato and computer-based programs, but myself, I use the, uh, the record box program by Pioneer, where I can just plug a USB drive into the CDJ and uh, have access to probably 20 times more music than I did when I was carrying four crates of vinyl. So that transition's amazing, and uh, just the technology as well, the amount that you can do on the CDJs, setting up cue points, uh, loop points, triggering back, and and just being able to play way more music than you were uh, on vinyl and even CD. I primarily play house music. Um, having said that though, since moving to the States I've actually moved you know, I've been forced to uh, open myself up to a few more genres, trap, hip-hop, um, dubstep, things that don't really get much of a look in, in Australia, which, is, which has been great. I mean, I love all different styles of music and it's a real challenge to move up and down in those tempos during a DJ set. So, but uh, me personally, I'm, I'm into house music. I've always produced house music. I started off doing funky sort of filtered house. I moved into uh, a bit tougher progressive and now I'm kind of at a, a big room electro kind of hybrid, I guess you would call it. And uh, DJing wise, like I like to play a lot of my own edits, as I said, I'm on the plane making edits, throwing acapellas over other tracks. Uh, you know, for me it's about maybe playing one for the crowd and then playing one for me, keeping a staying on the fence and trying to educate as well as entertain. Hey, this is Sergeant Slick. This is my life as a DJ.